Hi! Today, I'd like to talk to you about a very important man in the Old Testament, and his name was Moses, and the amazing way that God spoke to him. But before that, I want to ask you a question. What do you think God looks like, or sounds like? Well, people have different ideas. Some people think that God sits up high in the sky in big white fluffy clouds looking over us. And some people think that God looks like this. A wise old man with grey hair and a grey beard, sometimes with a pointing finger and a big booming voice. Some people think that God is like a lion. Well, maybe not like this small fluffy lion, but a real big powerful lion. And that's because a lion symbolises God's strength, power and courage. And some people, when they read the Old Testament, the first part of the Bible, they think that God looks like fire. And that's because God did appear in the Old Testament as pillars of fire to guide his people, as sometimes as big consuming fires. And in today's story, God talks to Moses through a burning bush. Today's Bible story is from Exodus 3, 1 to 15. Now Moses was an Israelite. He was born in Egypt and he was a shepherd. The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians and God had a very special plan for Moses. One day, whilst Moses was out looking after his sheep, he saw a bush that was on fire. But there was something very strange about this, because although the bush was on fire, it wasn't burning up. So Moses went closer to have a look. And then God called to Moses from within the burning bush and said, Moses, Moses. God told Moses not to come any closer because he was standing on holy ground and to take off his shoes. Moses did what he was told. He took off his shoes, kneeled down and turned his face away because he was so afraid to look. God told Moses that I have chosen you for a special job. My people are unhappy because the Egyptians are so cruel to them and you will lead them out of Egypt. Oh no, said Moses, I couldn't do that. I have chosen you, said God. I have chosen you to tell the king of Egypt to let my people go. Oh no, said Moses, I couldn't do that. I will help you, said God, and I will be with you. So, Moses and his family set off for Egypt. Moses knew that God had chosen him and that God would help him. So God spoke to Moses. God had a very important plan for him and God called Moses by name. But the amazing thing about today's story is that God can speak to us today. And God has a plan for everyone. Sometimes we might find it hard to hear from God, or we might think it's because God doesn't choose to speak to us in the same amazing way he spoke to Moses. But God sent his son Jesus to show us the way. And God does speak to us today when we read our Bibles. God speaks to us through other people who are friends of Jesus. And God speaks to us when we pray. And it's important to know that if God asks us to do something for him, he doesn't expect us to do it alone. And he promises to be with us and to give us everything we need to do it. So let's pray. Father God, thank you for loving us and promising to be with us forever. Thank you for all your promises to us. Please help us to know the plans that you have for us and help us to hear your voice. 
Thank you for sending Jesus to show us the way to live among us and to die for us so that we can be with you forever. Amen.